Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a crafting system in Doom Snap Map. Now, if you don't know what a crafting system is, there's two different kinds that are actually out there. There's one that actually lets you build the items with certain other items you find in the world, and they allow you to build anything you want, basically. Uh, we're not going to do that here because there's virtually no way to do that without any reward. Because uh, if you, you you could probably build stuff here, but the thing is, you can't really use it. You can only put it in a certain spot, and that's it. We're going to focus on what is actually known as a um, a multi currency system. That's actually what it's called. That's called a crafting. That's, the, that's what everybody calls it. Basically, you pick up certain items within the world that you can carry, and when you go to a uh, a kiosk. You push a button, and if you have the right amount of items, um, you can get that item. In other words, you purchase the item through multiple currencies. That's what it's called. Or multiple resources, just whatever they're called that way. So we're going to build that instead. Alright, so let's get started. So first we're going to need... A couple of these. We're going to make these basically gold and silver, so we'll just focus on that. You made these anything you want, by the way. We're just going to make them gold and silver, just so you know, they're easier to follow. And resource amount, we're going to make 10. Make this one 10. And there we go. No, we got that. We're going to have him grab a couple of resources. There we go. Set this to zero, because if you don't, it'll still charge it, and you'll go into negative for some reason, and it won't make any sense. Some gold. There we go. Then we go back here. Gold. Silver. Now if you want this shows up on you excuse me. You want it to show up on your heads-up display. You can do it with the heads-up display, but the thing is you only have two or three spots available. If one have a lot more than two, I mean like five different resources, which a lot of games use, it's usually around that many, uh, you're not going to be able to fit them on there. So what we're going to do, spawned, show resource, and show resource. We'll make this one the gold. Deem this. There we go. Got an icon for it. Like gold. Okay. We'll set the resource here. Yeah. Still uses it at the jury. Are you kidding me? We have to. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is, show resource. I keep forgetting they pushed the wrong one. And that'll be gold. And this will be silver. Now when we spawn in, we can pick up both items and we'll see them on the side of our screen as different uh, resources. Is there a 
resources. We got ten gold, ten silver. Oh, easy. We got ten more. We got ten more. And I think you can have at least five of those on the side of the screen, maybe six. Okay. Whatever you can fit on there, go for it. So I'm going to show them on the screen and we know how to pick them up. Now we got to learn how to spend them. So I'm going to grab the switch. Flower use. Listen, here's how you spend it. There's a little trick to this. Spend gold first. And we're going to spend 10 of that gold. It's been succeeded. We're going to spend silver. We're going to spend 10 of this. Now on spend resource failed, we're going to add back that 10. If you see what's going to happen is that this is going to spend first before it spends this. If there's 10 here and there's 0 here, um, you don't want to make, you don't want to lose 10 gold every time you hit the button. You want to make sure you get that gold back so you're not getting ripped off. Okay? This works a lot better that way. On spend succeeded with this one. Give ourselves a weapon. I'll make it the BFG. Have a little fun with this. And we'll go ahead and put a little pad below it. Okay. Alright, so now. We try to activate this. Nothing. You just pick up the gold, activate it. Nothing. You can see I kept my ten gold because that way I wouldn't spend it. Got the silver. Now it's spent it. Okay. Now if I just grab the silver. Didn't work. We gotta have both. And there you go. That's how that works. And you can set this up as long as you want. Just make sure that every single one has to give back for when the last one doesn't succeed or for the one before that doesn't succeed. You want to make sure you do that so that way you don't lose whatever item or that currency you want to lose. You want to make sure you get that back and make sure that it doesn't spend it or it looks like it doesn't spend it. You know what I mean? And you're going to have like a bunch of these lined up. I recommend you do five or six. Five I think is probably the best number because that way you don't lose track of everything but it makes it a lot easier. Okay, and you can set this up for whatever items you want for whatever item you want to pick up or want to create. You can also make this so that it also um, gives you back money if you don't want to spend it on that. You want to get currency for other things. So what we're going to do, we're going to build another one of these. This is in case you also want, you know, credits in your game also. And you want to make sure that you can just buy credits with these. We'll use uh, gold as our example. This is going to spend one gold. Let's 
Mr. Resource succeeded. We're give ourselves a new currency. What did you add? Let's say for every 10 gold it gives us 100 bucks. Okay. And we'll just name this credits. Also once succeeded, we're going to put up a repeater. So this way you can spend them fast and don't have to worry about it. Start the repeater. Repeat indefinitely. You know, let's make this a little bit faster. And when this goes, we can add. That'll add it. On spend resource failed, that'll stop it because that means we're out of money. Actually, no way, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You gotta do it this way. We want the repeater to continually spend it. That's what you want to do. And then when it doesn't spend anymore, then you're done. Alright. Let's make sure we show it up on our screen. We'll do a heads up display this time. Our team score will make this a variable. Credits. There we go. I want to pick up that gold and we try to spend it for credits. It's giving me money. I got a thousand bucks out of that. Then I can still pick up the gold and I won't spend it. So I'll spend it again and I forgot to make that reusable. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> but you see that it works. Note to self, make it reusable so that way it works. Here, I'll show it one more time. some more cash out of this. There we go. And if we want to buy an item, we just do this. Okay. That is how you build a crafting system. If you want to, so you want setups, you just want to buy one thing with it. You choose one currency and just have it so that when it succeeds, it gives you the item. So if you want to give ammo or something like that, it's really easy to set up. It's just one step below this one. And that's how you make a crafting system, or as I have to call it, a multi-currency or multi-resource system. Okay. So hope you all found this helpful. And with that being said, you all take care.